What makes young girls cry and grown men weep? And lifeguard's grim discovery. A man can't move his arms or legs. He's got no feeling at all. And now, his chest. Bondi's daily rituals begin. Dr. Pacific dispenses its soothing medicine. But out past the surf, lurks a nasty surprise. Come and jump in the back here. Yeah. <laughs> Just jump in the back here, mate. A man has collapsed after swimming the bay. He's come out of the water. He's got like one of those triath triathlete wetsuits. The Bondi local may have suffered multiple blue bottle stings, but his reaction is unusually severe. You've been stung before? Whatever it was. I just call it in. I think I need to go to the hospital, man. Serious for the moment. Just relax, mate. Oxygen will help his breathing. What's your name, dude? Ruben. Hot water's the best thing for it, if we can get you over the road. Hot water can help neutralise toxins remaining on his skin. But toxins already in the body can cause excruciating pain in the glands. Yet it's Reuben's back that hurts most. I've got my back is breaking. Yeah, getting worse? Yeah, yeah, he's, yeah, he's going back. Lifeguards need to ascertain whether Reuben is suffering something else. Are you allergic to bee stings no, or prawns or anything like that? Right. And you never had any anaphylactic uh, no. problems before? No. Okay, mate. I really need to go to the hospital. Right. We've got an ambulance on the way. Yeah. Uh, uh. Dino decides to administer the green whistle, a powerful analgesic. Just breathe normally, take it, keep it in your mouth. It has little effect. The ambulance will give you some more pain relief soon. Yeah, just try and relax. I know it sounds hard. Paramedics are briefed on Ruben's baffling reaction. It hurts so much. I know. So we're going to get you some. Do you have some hot water here? We've got a oh. shower across the road. I wanted to get in there. Oh. Have you just got um? We can, we, if you, if we can walk him or boil him across. I've got hot water. You want hot water? A big breath in. in. No, no. A big breath in. Into your mouth. That's it. Keep going like that. I want 20 big breaths. Finally, the pain relief takes effect. You're looking much better, Ruben. Feeling better? Quite often the case with blue bottles is, is, you know, people think they're going to die and they get themselves in such a state of shock that they, they can, people can die from shock. So he was that bad that we had to treat him that way. But as Reuben heads off to hospital for assessment, the culprits march closer to shore. <laughs> Portuguese men of war, commonly known as blue bottles, are blown in by onshore winds. Their tentacles, metres long, are armed with tiny but powerful darts. Deadly to small fish, excruciating to humans. Just attention all the swimmers out in front. There are a few blue bottles starting to make their way in now. And if you do get stung, don't panic. Just have a fresh water shower located on the promenade and it should go away within about 30 minutes. Just relax, relax. I oh know, you've got to get it off. You just got to sort of cater to each individual. That becomes tricky after there's, you know, 50 or so just coming at you at once and you're trying to watch the water at the same time. It's just frustrating with blue bottles. They're just a punish. Thousands are in the water. Being stung is a lottery. A blue bottle swarm has hit Bondi, you could say. Open your eye, try and open your eye for me. Like that one. I just want to see if there's any blue stuff in that. You're right. You've got it all out. It's just going to be like swollen. I'll give you some eyes to put on it, but we, there's nothing for the pain. It stung me in the arm first, and then I went to rub the water oh. on my eyes. And... Oh, you got it there. Yeah, if it gets worse and you start, it starts to swell and you can't see out of your eye, definitely just go straight to the hospital. Cheers. Despite warnings, swimmers take their chances. It's 
pretty common now and we're pretty used to panic, especially for people that haven't been stung by a blue bottle before. It is quite scary. I mean, it's a pretty intense sort of pain and when you look down, you've got these blue tentacles sort of wrapped around your limbs. It's not the best feeling in the world. Aww, it'll be okay. It'll be okay. Oh, are you? will be fine. It's just a little sting. It's okay. It's part of coming to Bondi. You meet the blue bottles. Sometimes the best treatment is humour. Grab the oh uh, chainsaw. <laughs> Grab the chainsaw. <laughs> We're just going to chop it off. Chop Come in, off. yeah. They recommended amputation, but um, yeah, they just said just keep doing what I'm doing, put ice and stuff on it, and yeah. <laughs> Millions of blue balls washing in. One more. Hey, buddy, what's up? Can we jump from here, sir? What, what, what's up? This, we need to yeah. Meet. There's a tent down there, red and yellow tent. They'll sort you out on the beach. There's front. a tent. Just got every man and his dog getting stung, and we're, we're just so busy watching the water that you, we just can't attend to every blue bottle thing. All right, so it's a blue bottle. It's extremely common along here, and it's going to be really sore for the next 40 minutes. This will make it feel a load better. Just gotta tough it out. You'll be fine, trust me. You see this all the time. All right, boys. It'll go away. It only lasts about half an hour. Then it'll itch. And then you'll die. TLC is often enough to ease the pain. Just want to shower. You just gotta tough it up. Yeah. Be strong, mate. But some won't be comforted. Ten-year-old Jasmine has multiple stings. What I want you to do, I want you to go over here and wash the area and then come back in and I'll spray it and give you some more. And then knock on the door, be right with you. Oh, hey, I've, uh, I've seen some blue bottle reactions in my life and that's number one. That was unbelievable. Jasmine's reaction is extreme. Lifeguards are about to find out why. Yeah, feel bad because like uh, the poor girl came over here. We thought she was just uh, overreacting to a bluey sting. It was a horrible sting, but it turns out she's autistic. She isn't overreacting. She just doesn't know why that she's got so much pain. A topical spray will help further ease Jasmine's pain. Oh, it just stings for a little bit. I You're haven't got no. That was very intense, very, very intense. Like, uh, at first, we just thought it was someone overreacting to a blue bottle, which happens a lot. You get it with grown men, little kids, whatever. And, like, everyone, like, reacts differently. A lot of people don't have, don't have much ticker. It shakes you up, though, it shakes you up. When you see someone in your face uh, that distraught, pretty, pretty heavy. Half an hour later, calm finally returns. The swelling has almost gone, but not the memory. I did see the sign, but to be honest, I thought, because when there's so many people out in the sea, yeah. that there weren't going to yeah. be any about. I don't know if she'll be too keen to go back in the but sea. Luckily, there's no jellyfish on the sand. Ask me, was it cruel, cruel? Having fun has its risks. Lifeguards never know when a real disaster may strike. Guys, we've got someone uh, pulled out of the water unconscious. I think they're on our beach up A man has been dragged from the surf. Within moments, lifeguards make a diagnosis. I think it's just a suspected spinal. So the boys are just going to run back up here and grab the spinal board and some equipment and, uh, and, and head back down. Dean attends Leo, a 28-year-old Brazilian man. He's unable to move his arms or legs. And did he dive in the water? Um, I didn't see. Oh, OK, right. On. And how did he get pulled out of the water? Did you see that? Um, 
the boys took him They out. just dragged him out? What, he... What? It appears there was Anyone just one I witness. I had to go for a swim. He hit his head on the, on the ground. Yeah. Yeah. Can you feel this now? I think you survived. Yeah. Yeah. Can you move his feet? Okay, my foot, my foot's up and I'll meet you a little bit. Can you take it off? Leo is part of a Brazilian dance troupe. He is due to perform tonight. Let's just leave, let's just leave him, just like that. Just relax. Is he all right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Relax. Está de boa? Tell him he's doing well. Está de boa, está indo bem. Just relax, deep breaths, we know it hurts. Got to be brave. Jake, I haven't touched the patient as of yet because he's got no movement or feeling. I'm reluctant to do so, but maybe they can advise whether, whether they want me to package him up or not. Dean hasn't packaged him because he said he's got no movement. So he's got no feeling at all. Respira devagar because you're taking the oxygen. You don't need to respire so much with the oxygen. You're respiring for you. So you have to respire slowly. In extreme cases, spinal victims can lose the power to breathe. I just hopped off the phone with the ambulance. They're about six minutes off. Well, ladies, you know, if he stops breathing, um, we're going to have to start doing CPR. If Leo stops breathing, lifeguards will be faced with a terrible dilemma. Resuscitating Leo may damage his spinal cord further. We need an ambo here, ASAP, mate. Dean, uh, the ambo's just come around the roundabout now. G'day, mate, how are you? What language does he speak? Portuguese, I'm not talking. Okay. Oxygen is good. So, respiration is good, mate. So, oxygen is good. So, oxygen is good. Squeeze my hand, Leo. We went for a swim. He, he can't hand. feel anything, mate. Eh? How did he get out of the water? Uh, we pulled him out. Right. Did he walk at all or move nah. his arms or legs? No. Nah. Not at all? He couldn't move anything. Hey? Yeah. Like his chest is hurt. His leg and his chest. So he can feel his chest. Anything else? Any pain down his stomach? Uh, look at the window. E aqui na frente? Tá sentindo aqui? Não? Nada? Ele não sente nada. Ele não sente nada. A spinal board will immobilize Leo on the way to hospital. One, two, three, back. 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 We know it feels horrible. It's awful to have something across your chest. We need to do this to keep him home until it's a safe. It's a We're going to look at Mark's park, we're going to transport him up to the ambulance and then from there coordinate a landing area. That's really upsetting for me to see um, he had no movement or feeling below, below the neck really. Um, you know, I just kept in there basically and tried to really reassure him and I wanted to do everything, you know, as much as possible to give him every chance to walk again. A chopper is the smoothest way to transport Leo to hospital. The only hope is that Leo's symptoms are caused by severe swelling and not an irreparable break. Touching him and he just had nothing. She, she was poking him here and he could feel that at the end, but <laughs> it just... That's so sad. Lifeguards wait for news on Leo's condition. Next day, and there's a happy discovery on the beach. How are you? Good. Yesterday, you got the worst blue bottle sting 
I've ever seen in my whole life. How much did it hurt? So much, hey. Yeah, you scared us. It was the scariest blue ball thing I've ever seen. <laughs> I was just telling Jasmine she's the toughest girl I've ever met. She's Worst been a thing. very brave girl. Brave and tough as nails. <laughs> Are you going to show everyone though that you're a brave girl and you can come back in the water now? Yeah. Come in the water yeah. with me. Come on then. Yeah. What a legend. I thought you have to go back in the water because otherwise we're here for five weeks. Right. So if we don't, if she doesn't get overcome her fear to get in the water now, she'll, miss out on the she'll ruin, yeah, bless her. Now Jasmine's painful experience is about to come in very handy. I think my daughter can oh, You got stung by a jellyfish? Oh really? Oh, really? Oh. Jasmine got stung yesterday. Did you get stung by a jellyfish? Yeah. When? Yeah. It hurts, huh? When did you do it? Hurts a lot? When did you do it? Just up there, I was getting into the water. How long did the phone last? I'll go and get up there. Not long. Not long? Nah. Half an hour? Yeah. Half an hour. Happy, ha happy ending for uh, Jasmine, happy ending for, for all of us. So, yeah, she can go on and go on in Australia and uh, just have a good time. By like coming back down the beach, she's getting back on the horse, you know. Full props to you, Jasmine. In the tower, word comes through on Leo, the young Brazilian with no feeling in his arms or legs. Team, the police, um, on no police, Frank. Yeah. And they said that guy yesterday for the spinal. Yep. He's quad. Quadriplegic. Yeah. yeah. He just called to say, like, uh, let us know. Oh. That's terrible. Mm. It's been a week since 28-year-old Brazilian dancer Leo dived headfirst into a sandbank. You can't feel anything. Tell him to move his feet. You can't. He was left with no movement in his arms or legs. Now, his friends have come to visit lifeguards in the tower. What actually happened to me? He jumped for dive, and it wasn't dead. The, the, accident, the accident was actually after. He started to dive. And then he started to dive. Oh, okay. Yeah. We decided to go for a swim. We went for a run to dive into the water, and then we just realized that. As we swim, we will go up and start to walk back. On the look back, he's still under the water. One of the boys tried to pick him up, and um, he's realized that he wouldn't come. Yeah. So then he's turned him around, and he was like, breathe, like, struggling to breathe. And it was such a beautiful day that we, it was so funny because we got up. I, I got up and I went to their house, and they got there, we make breakfast, and we feel positive, like, let's go for a big workout, let's go to the beach. And, and our vibe, our energy was so good that day. What I wanted to ask was what's uh, Leandro's future prospects? Like, where is it at? It's a 1% chance of his recovery ever being able to move his arms or legs again. But they also did say to us that there was the same slim chance of me, him being able to recover his breathing, yeah. which he has. He's completely breathing on his own. Oh, that's yeah. awesome. He has recovered incredibly rapidly yeah. In, yeah. in that respect. So, you know, we have hope. But obviously, it's going to be a long-term recovery process, treatment, rehabilitation, care. So there's a lot of costs involved. It's, it's really hard for us to go to the hospital and see him because when he get there, he keeps looking at us. He keeps telling me how, how good I look. And he keeps asking me to buy him some protein shake, right, like yeah, supplements. Yeah, yeah. Like he's believing in his mind that he's going to be OK soon. He's a, he's a very um, spiritual, positive person. Very sad. It's one of the one of the, probably the worst things I've had to deal with mm. in my lifeguarding career. Mm. Oh, really? That's what, he's such a beautiful yeah. big guy, yeah. and I knew, I and it was just. Fitness is, is and he knew. I could see him on the beach. Yeah. He had those tears yeah. in his eyes. Yeah. It was just. Yeah, one thing it does definitely give you the biggest wake up call, and you feel like I can every single step I take, I should be thankful for the fact that I can scratch my eye if it's itching. Yeah. You know, you just got to give thanks for every single 